Hello students, welcome to TSAT classes. Welcome to TSPSC Group 1 Prelims English Medium Series. As part of this TSPSC Group 1 Prelims exam, we at TSAT have started series of classes on different subjects. And recently, we have also started on Telangana policies and welfare schemes. Now, as part of this Telangana policies and welfare schemes, this is our fourth class. In the first three classes, we have finished Telangana government related educational schemes, forest related schemes, health related schemes, farmers related schemes, etc. Today, as part of this topic, that is Telangana policies and welfare schemes, let us look into one more major area that is information technology and infrastructure related schemes, related schemes, information technology and infrastructure related schemes, very, very important for the exam. Hyderabad being the IT hub of India, it is a duty of the government of Telangana to bring more policies and schemes for development of this IT sector in Hyderabad. We are in, we are here in TSAT, Telangana Satellite TV, launched by government of Telangana as part of the IT initiative. As part of this IT technologies and initiatives, there are many other schemes launched by Telangana government. Let us start and see few important IT related and infrastructure related schemes of Telangana government. How we are going to see? We will look into these schemes with the help of an objective type question. After the objective type question is done, if needed, we will see more points related to that particular scheme. Consider the following and choose the correct statement with regards to rich scheme R I C H. See, rich is a scheme, rich is a policy started by government of Telangana after government of after Telangana came into force. Now, let us see some points with respect to a rich scheme with the help of an objective type question. Look at statement number one. Rich stands for Research and Innovation Circle of Hyderabad. Absolutely correct. It talks about Research and Innovation Circle of Hyderabad. The main objective of this scheme is to promote research and innovation by connecting different institutions. This is also correct. Let us take up something called robotics. Now, this research and innovation circle of Hyderabad connect all the colleges, institutions, platforms which works on robotics and bring them under one roof. When all the institutions or other collaborations or startups come together on a particular topic or a particular aspect called robotics, their ideas or their know-how will be transferred to one other, each other, meaning there will be a mutual uh, growth among all the institutions and startup also will grow and collectively the entire sector will go or entire segment will go up. That is the main objective of this scheme called rich. A question might come in your exam which says, please elaborate what is the definition of rich or what is the abbreviation of rich. It says research and innovation circle of Hyderabad. Expected for the exam. Very, very important and expected for the exam. 
which of the following statements is or are correct with respect to TS I pass, Telangana state I pass. The main objective of this scheme is for ease of doing business in Telangana, absolutely true, ease of doing business. See, it is very difficult to start a business in India because there is more of nepotism, there is more of red tapeism, there is more of paperwork, lot more. To decrease this paperwork, nepotism, red tapeism, corruption, and to increase the transparency, accountability, and to make things faster, TS I pass was introduced by government of Telangana, whereby the approvals will become faster. And the main objective is to provide ease of doing business. Easily anyone can do business. Second one, a total of 30 clearances pertaining to 23 departments are included in this scheme. See, if someone want to start a business, if someone want to start an industry, they need a forest clearance, pollution clearance, labor clearance, land clearance, certificates, incorporation certificate, GST certificate, PAN card. See, all these certificates are must. Now, instead of roaming to each and every department to get that certificate done, why not we make all the departments come under one roof and provide that certificate, a single certificate and that is your TSI pass. And these clearances will be done within 30 days. These clearances will be done within 30 days. To start a company, all the clearances from the government you will get within 30 days. Answer is all the statements are correct. I want everyone to remember this objective type question because it is most expected for your exam. Let us see some more details about TSI pass. The Telangana government has enacted the Telangana State Industrial Project Approval and Self Certification System Act in the year 2014. Look at this TS, Telangana State I pass Industrial PASS Project Industrial Project Approval and Self Certification System. Look at this, Telangana State Industrial Project Approval and Self Certification System, Self Certification System, TSI Pass Act was enacted in 2014. He might ask you the abbreviation. It says Telangana State Industrial Project Approval and Self Certification System. This is an act passed in 2014. Why? What is the purpose? For speedy process, for speedy processing of applications, for issue of various clearances required for setting up of industries at a single point based on a self certificate provided by the entrepreneur and also to create investor friendly environment in the state of Telangana. To attract more funds into Telangana, to attract FDI into Telangana, to attract private funds into Telangana, to make others to establish a company, this TSI pass, a single window where all the clearances will be given was set up. Time limit set for each approval was one day to maximum 30 days, depending upon the complexity of the approval. If you apply today, it should be given or approved within 30 days. See, within 30 days. There are few exemptions where some should be approved within 15 days only. We will see what are they. Look at this. Yes, look at this. For mega projects with an investing more than 200 crores, a pre-authorization clearance will be issued within 15 days. Remember this. Suppose if you want to invest 200 crores, more than 200 crores to start an industry. A pre-authorization clearance will be given to you within 15 days, within 15 days. If the clearance is not provided within the stipulated time, a thousand rupees fine shall be imposed on the concerned officer. Remember this. For example, today is, imagine today is 1st August. Now you have applied 
for an application to start a industry. Now, it should be done within 30 days. So, let us keep it as 31st August. Before 31st August, you should get your certificate. Now, the due date 31st August is also done. Now, what is the scenario? Every day, if it is delayed, every day, if it is delayed, each day, every day, if it is delayed, the concerned officer will be fined 1000 rupees per day. Suppose it is approved within 60 days, it should be approved within 30 days, but he has took more 30 days. So, 30,000 fine will be imposed on that person who is authorized to provide the certificate. As per 2019 ranking, Telangana ranked third in the ease of doing business in India. Compared to all the states in India, in ease of doing business, Telangana ranked third in all the states, in all 28 states. Okay. Now, try to remember this again. I am telling you what is TSI pass? Telangana State Industrial Project Approval and Self Certification System. Launched in the year 2014. It is a single window where approvals for almost 30 approvals for almost 23 departments will be cleared in one set, one go. And this will be done within 30 days. If there is a mega project that is about 200 crores investment, a pre authorization certificate will be given within 15 days. If a, the concerned officer is not giving the certificate, or not approving it within the stipulated time, he will be fined a thousand per day. He will be fined thousand per day. Remember this. Consider the following and choose which of the following is correct with regards to it. Task. Task is a policy. Task. Task stands for Telangana Academy for Skill and Knowledge. See, it is a skill development center. Skill development program. Under task, third and fourth year engineering students will be provided for training in association with industries. Total 713 colleges in the state has been tied up under this scheme. Look at this. Imagine there is a government, there is a government organization. Now, this organization will provide certain skills like Python, R, SAP, SAS, Tally, etc. Imagine. Now, there is a college. Now, this institution will approach the college under task. There are third and fourth year students. These students under this program will be provided the skills, required skills for free of cost. And they will be placed through placements with certain industries, companies or company college placements. That is what it says. Task is a very, very, very good initiative started by government of Telangana. This was in news, so it can be asked for your question. It can be asked as a question. Consider the following and choose the correct statement with respect to TUB. See, in Telangana, there is something called TUB1 and TUB2. TUB2 is recently launched. Is recently launched okay, by CMKCR. Look at this. T up stands for technology hub of Telangana. Remember this. Many people think it is Telangana hub. No. It is called technology hub of Telangana. It is not called Telangana hub. It is technology hub. T up stands for technology hub. It was launched on November 5th, 2015. The main objective of T up is to promote startups in India or in Hyderabad. All the statements are correct. Now, what is TUB? Imagine, imagine you want to start a company. You need a space. You need to pay rent for the space. 
a current bill, maintenance charges, you need conference room, you need infrastructure. Now imagine the cost of these things to start a startup will be almost 40 percent of the income earned by the startup, more than 40, but let us keep it 40. Now imagine government want to provide you office, government will provide you infrastructure, government only will provide you a conference room, government will provide the entire logistics or this setup and ask you to concentrate only on the product involved. 40 percent will be saved and that 40 percent can be used as a capital to increase the production and increase the sales for your business. And this is called incubation center. T up is an incubation center for startups in Hyderabad. Startups will come, register themselves, they are given a desk, they are also given a conference room, they are given concerned or related infrastructure and they are given a open office space. T up consists of more than 300 startups in Hyderabad. So, the main reason why T up has been started is to promote startups in Hyderabad. Recently, T up 2 has been launched in 2022 by CMKCR and the first year was launched on November 5th, 2015. Consider the following and choose the correct with regards to VUB. You have seen TUB, right? TUB is technology hub for startups. Now, we have, we are talking about VUB. V, it does not mean V, it means women. Women entrepreneurs hub. W stands for women, E stands for entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs are people who start business, a business started by women, UB. V UB stands for women entrepreneur program or entrepreneurship program, correct. It was launched on 8th March 2018. The main objective of this scheme is to encourage and support Women ownership based startups in Telangana, all the statements are correct. Answer is B. Very, very important. See, many people think that V up stands for women up or women startups. No. V up stands for women entrepreneurship hub. The main objective is to encourage startups started by women. This V up is also an incubator center where Funding can also be reached. Government also supports financially these women startups. Remember this for the exam. And it was launched on 8th March of 2018. 8th March is International Women's Day. 2018, 8th March, Government of Telangana has launched V UB. These things are important for the exam. Consider the following and choose the correct statement with regards to digital Telangana scheme. See, you all know about digital India. Digital Telangana is part of digital in India initiative. Digital Telangana is part of digital India initiative. Now, let us see this. The main objective of this scheme is to provide service delivery mechanisms to digital way. Correct. Government services are given to people through digital platform via uh, using information technology, via using internet, by using artificial intelligence, they want to give the services of the government. Two, information communication technology policy was initiated by Telangana government in 2016 under digital Telangana program, it's absolutely correct. See, government of India launches certain policies whenever needed. Imagine, imagine, just imagine, government of Telangana want to increase pharma sector in the state. 
Now they will come up with something called pharma policy. It has a target of five years. In this five years, how pharma industry should be developed is designed. In a similar way, to provide the welfare schemes to the people in a digital platform, ICT policy was launched in 2016. ICT stands for Information Communication Technology. In 2022, in 2022, space technology policy was given by Telangana government for implementing this scheme. Absolutely correct. This will be asked for your exam. Answer is all the statements are correct. But what are different schemes launched by Telangana government since 2014? Let us see them now. Important for your exam. Try to concentrate. See, in total, there are tens policies launched by Government of Telangana. Look at this. Innovation policy was launched in 2016. Cyber security policy was launched in 2016. Electronics policy was launched in 2016. ICT policy was launched in 2016. Information communication technology policy. Rural technology policy was launched in 2016. Big data policy was launched in 2016. Internet of Things based policies is launched in 2017. Internet. Of Things was launched in 2017. E-waste and EVs, electronic vehicle and energy storage policy 2020. See by 2030, India want to capture this EV market. So only on the basis of that this policy is launched. Logistic policy of Telangana was launched in 2021 and recently in 2022, space technology policy is launched. I will just clear this everything for you to take down a screenshot. Very, very important for the exam. Try to know about all the policies in detail. That will be much better. Okay. Yes. So, this is digital Telangana which is part of Digital India Initiative. See, the main objective of Digital India is to provide services in a digital way, to increase the digital literacy, to also bring up digital infrastructure, to provide services in a digital manner, to increase the digital literacy, and also to ensure there is a digital infrastructure. And that will be applied in all the states when states come up with these kinds of policies. Okay, very, very important for the exam. Infrastructure related policy. Consider the following and choose the correct with regards to Mission Kakatiya. See, Mission Kakatiya is in news. But what is Mission Kakati? It was launched on 12th March 2015 at Sada Shivanagar Kamari D. Correct. Remember this date. It was launched on 12th March 2015 at Sada Shivanagar Kamari D. The slogan of Mission Kakatiya is Mana Uru Mana Cheru. The object is to restore 46,531 tanks in Telangana. All the statements are correct. All the statements are correct. But let us see about Mission Kakatiya in detail. As I told you before, this scheme was launched on 12th March 2015. The main objective of this scheme is to restore 46,531 tanks. 46,531 tanks. The objective of Mission Kakatiya is to enhance the development of agriculture based income for small and marginal farmers. For small and marginal farmers by accelerating the development of minor irrigation infrastructure, strengthening community based irrigation management, and adopting a comprehensive program for restoration of tanks. For restoration of tanks. See, the main objective of this scheme is to increase the income of the farmers by restoration of tanks. 
The government has prioritized to take restoration of minor irrigation tanks to restore them to store their original capacity of with an effective of 255 TMC of water allocated for minor irrigation sector under Godavari and Krishna river basin. Remember this 255 TMC. A reconciliation survey was conducted to identify the numbers and the survey came with the number called 46,531 tanks are there to be restored. The massive program for restoration of tanks is named as Chinnaniti Vanurala uh, Punar Nirvana as it renamed as Mission Kakatiya, restoration of small tanks. The government plan to restore 9,306 tanks every year, 20% of the tanks every year. And in five years of times, five years of times, total 46,531 tanks will be restored. But how the tank will be identified? The district minister, local MLA, MLC, public representative will approach to identify the restored local tank. Mandal assistant, executive engineer will submit the list of tanks under his jurisdiction. Identified tanks for which repairs work have been already been taken up under this program like CBTMP, RRR, normal state plan along with type of the repair to be taken will be a drafted, a plan will be provided. Preference will be given to the tanks which have greater uh, uh, akut and good source of water. Tanks which have not been covered under any program will be given priority. The chain of the tanks in mandals will be identified in first phase. Repairs, resections or, or feeder channels and silt removal in the tanks will be taken up in priority basis. One urban tank, remember this for the exam, one urban tank at the constituency headquarters will be taken up and developed as mini tank bund. So this is your mission kakatiya. I want everyone to remember mission kakatiya points in detail. Please take down points because there is a chance that a question will definitely come. Consider the following and choose the correct statement with regard to mission Bhagiratha. The objective is to provide pipe drinking water to 99 assembly constituencies, excluding 20 GHMC based constituencies. Exclu 20 GHMC, Hyderabad based constituencies are not included, 99 are included. The objective is to provide 100 liters per day per person per day. It was inaugurated on 7th August 2016 at at Komati Banda village, Gajwal, all the statements are correct. Remember this again, very, very important. It was launched on 7th August 2016. The main motive is to provide 100 liters drinking water per day to each person. And it was launched in 99 constituencies, except 20, that is GHMC limits. Consider the following and choose the correct statement with regards to 2BHK scheme. This scheme was launched on August 22, 2015 at Erravalli village of Gajwal, correct. The target is to distribute 4 lakh houses in 2022 financial year, 5.04 lakh and 5.30 lakh is allocated for rural and urban areas respectively. See, if I want, if I want this 2 BHK, now for that construction and if, if the cost of this 2BHK is 10 lakhs, government will give 5 lakh 4000 rupees and the rest I should bore. And if it is a rural area, it is 5.04 lakhs. If it is an urban area, it is 5.3 lakhs. This is your 2BHK scene. So these are some schemes in relation to the infrastructure and IT in Telangana. I will see you guys again in the next class with schemes related to vulnerable sections in Telangana. Till then, keep learning, happy learning, Jai Hind.